Hello, welcome to your daily dose of awesome, your live 15 minutes of inspiration, motivation, and education. My name is Brandy Shaper, for those of you that don't know me, and I am excited to be here. Thankful and blessed that I've been asked to be back one more once again. Okay, so tonight, today, tonight, today, it's morning, right? Um, we are actually talking about the five tips to absolutely crush it using social media, okay? And these are going to be a little different than what you guys have probably heard in the past, but tell me who you are, where you're coming in from. I want to kind of see, say hello, give you some shout outs, make sure we're live. Um, I see Danielle, so we must be live, right? Okay, perfect. Somebody tell me we're live. Okay, yes, perfect. Good morning, Marilyn. Hi, Jill, Michelle. Right, all the way from Denmark? Wow, cool. Natasha, Miriam. Hi, Nicholas. Good to see you, Marge. Hey, mad face. Why are we getting mad faces? I already made you mad. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, so one of the things as entrepreneurs that we end up doing is um, we like to beat ourselves up. Okay, so the first tip to absolutely crush it on social media is to stop beating yourself up. Okay, and this is a trait of entrepreneurs. This is actually part of the reason why you are the way you are is because you are so driven. And when things don't work out the way you want or when uh, you know it's not going as fast as we'd like or things like that, we, we tend to beat ourselves up. We tend to, like for instance, after this live is done, normally back in the past, I would have watched the live again and been like, oh my gosh, right? I did this and this and I should have done this and this. So stop beating yourself up, okay? It's a huge problem with entrepreneurs. That's the number one tip to actually crush on social media. Um, the number one thing why to stop beating yourself up is because you're wasting time, okay? And you're not using that time to benefit someone else, okay? So you're not impacting others. If you are beating yourself up, you can't impact others. So instead of beating yourself up, the best way to go about this is to celebrate your wins. And I just had this conversation with one of our members in Elite Marketing Pro, I think it was two days ago, and um, she expressed, you know what, I thought I would be farther along, you know, blah, 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 all the things that you are probably, you know, feeling and as you're, as you're trying to grow your business online is, is these same feelings that she was having. And I said to her, you know what, sometimes you need to turn around and see how far that you've come because there's been a huge growth from even who the person you were, you know, 12 months ago. So stop beating yourself up is number one. Number two is follow up with more posture, okay? Um, if you think someone will be good at your business, um, either as an entrepreneur or as a network marketer or as an affiliate marketer, and you would love to have them in your business, never stop following up with them, okay? Now, this doesn't mean to slam them with stuff, all, you know, all day, every day, the rest of your life, right? You know, like totally spam them. This means that once that initial contact is gone and you've got a yes or no, do they want to join you in business? You are then going to put them up on a follow-up list, which is about monthly. Okay. So you're going to, and you're not always going to want to reach out and talk about business. Okay. You're going to want to always reach out and maybe say, Hey, how are you doing? How's things going? You know, how's life and just really build the relationship. And yes, you are going to want to ask about business every now and again. Um, you after again, after you collect that initial decision, and then move forward with your follow-up, okay? So stick them on that follow-up month monthly plan. How many of you would love to have more posture in your follow-up or even maybe more follow-up, right? Drop a number one down below if that's you. Hi, Scott. Nice to see you, Rosemary. Michelle, Terry, hey. Nice to see all of you guys. So cool that you are here and participating. Cool. All right, so like we talked, um, when you're following up, don't always talk about business, okay? Um, how's life? Hey, you know what? I know you're not interested, but do you know anybody that would be interested in a side hustle or someone that would like to create a couple thousand dollars extra a month? Okay, so because people that you know that are really good and would be really great in your business, they know people like you and like them, right? So if you can give them, you know, ask for the referral. Okay, so with the follow up, ask for the referral and be postured. Okay, now if people are nasty with you, um, you know, if you get some de derogatory remarks or, you know, oh, is that another pyramid scheme or, you know, whatever, then obviously you need to have the posture to just not recruit them, right? They're not allowed on your team at that point because you don't want people like that in your team or surrounding yourself with people like that. So have the posture to say, you know what? No, you're not a good fit for my business and you don't put them on the follow-up list, okay? So make sure you, you use that posture to follow up, okay? 
So be the person you want to attract. Okay. So I know a lot of us on social media, we're like, Hey, we're not getting enough likes. Nobody's watching my lives. Um, you know, nobody's commenting, nobody's clicking my link. I would ask you, are you clicking their links? Are you sharing? Are you liking? And are you commenting? Okay, because you need to be the person that you want to attract. Now, I know we all want to attract this big fish right into our business and our, and our network marketing company takes off or, you know, we make a bunch of money with um, our affiliate company, whatever that a company is, is you're, you're building. But you have to become the big fish. And this is part of this on social media. You need to set aside 15 to 20 minutes a day to go and comment, like, and share other people's stuff. If you are the you know one reaching out to other people, you're going to attract people that are reach out to you. Okay, does that make sense? Drop a number two if that makes sense. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. I heard some good things about you yesterday. Cool. All right, so be the person that you would like to attract. Now, that may take you some work, right? All right, now, uh, number three, raise more curiosity. <laughs> yes, Scott, be the person you want to become. Yes, perfect. Raise more curiosity than resistance. Okay, so this is something that a lot of you on here with Elite Marketing Pro already know about. Okay, now if you don't know how to do this, there's going to be a link somewhere in this video that uh, whoever shared this with you is going to give you. That is an actual free 10 day boot camp that you're going to be able to get started and learn how to build your business without. Resi without resistance, okay? People are going to come to you, they're going to be attracted to you instead of you spamming your newsfeed and doing those kind of things. So if you're new to that if you need, and you don't know what this means, it's okay, hang in with us and uh, you'll be able to click that link in just a second, okay? So raise more curiosity than resistance. Now, what do I mean by this? Number one, um, if they could find what company you are in on either on your personal profile or your fan page or however you're building Instagram, you know, whatever you're using on social media, if they can find the company, you've already lost the battle. And here's why people are going to go and research, right? And on Google, if you go research and this, any company, you can even actually research Christmas. You can research any charity. Um, and there is a bunch of negative about it, right? How many of you agree that, when you go research stuff, usually you'll find the negative first. Drop a number three down below, okay? Because this is just the reality we live in. There's all the negative. You're gonna find, you know, any company you can find, there's gonna be some negative on it. And maybe they're gonna be, oh, we took all his savings or blah, 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 right? If they've done research without you talking to them, you've already lost the game, okay? Because you, you didn't even know, first of all, that they were interested in joining you in business. And second of all, they found all the negative, and so they make a decision, an uneducated decision, on what you're doing, okay? So make sure that your company is your biggest secret. You don't wanna be able to find it on your personal profile, on anything that you do, even any, any pictures, okay? Any pictures that you're doing, take off the swag, take off your company you know, logo, um, don't have the company logo in the back at events, You know all the pictures that you use. Make sure you're intentional about this, all right? Plus, network marketing is still a relationship business. And the posting and you know the join me now, buy my products, it just really comes off as the majority of people, it actually turns them off, okay? So if you're doing that, don't do that. And if you need a way to figure this out, grab the link in this video, okay? So seek conversations over conversions, okay? So be a friend first. And I know we talk about this a lot in here at Elite Marketing Pro, is building your relationships, be a friend first, um, doing conversations instead of conversions. And create curiosity when you're creating curiosity and then you add the conversation in between and you point to a tool and then you're the bridge in between them and enrolling is so much smoother than just posting and saying, hey, enroll in my company. Okay, because they want to enroll with somebody. They're not actually enrolling because of the products. They're enrolling because they believe in you, believe in who and where you can get them to go. All right. So the last one is technology. Now, this technology is meant to make our lives easier. Okay. But sometimes when we're building a business and we're entrepreneurial, we get caught up in all of the techie stuff, right? Like trying to figure out the algorithm before we post anything or trying to have everything planned. You know, it's just you're, you're getting ready to get ready, right? And technology can get in the way. It's kind of scary sometimes. Basically, when you get online building your business, keep it simple, okay? And when we used to build network marketing before the internet, before all of this took place, before we could, you know, talk to anybody all over the world, you had to actually open your mouth and talk to the people, okay? So now you don't actually always have to open your mouth to talk to the people. You can text 
your mouth to the people. The same thing is here is that you are talking to people and stop getting ready to get ready to get ready. Okay, don't try to figure out the algorithm when to post is best. You're getting caught up in the things that don't matter. Action matters. Talking to people matters. And make sure you get that daily mode of operation going on, on your, um, for your business. Hi, Gary. Nice to see you. So is this helping any of you? Please comment down below. I just kind of want to see. Let's do a little check-in. <laughs> Hello, Ute. Whitney, that's got to be Whitney. Hi, Teresa. Jennifer. Yep, text your mouth to the people. Yeah, you like that one? That's gold right there, right? Um, have partners that need to hear this. Great. Curtis, share. Share with them. That would be great for them. Um, okay, so there's Whitney. The other one's got to be Carrie. Awesome. Hi, Char. Char. Chantel, Lorray. Hi, guys. Great to see all of you. So you, listen, basically what is, what's going to happen here online as well as offline, just go talk to people. If you're trying to build your business, obviously online is a lot easier because people can come to you. Can, you can attract those people. So um, grab that link above. Like I said, if you have no idea where to get started, if you're like me 18 months ago and had no idea how to build online and knew nothing about the internet or how to work a computer, get that link, go through that training. It's incredible stuff. But you guys, listen, I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope these tips help some of you uh, get out of your get out of your comfort zone and really understand what's important, which is opening your mouth and talking to the people, whether it's texting. Um, it's really just getting in action and taking it day by day. And remember to not beat yourself up so much because look behind you and see how far you've come. So I appreciate all of you. Um, have a fabulous week. Like I said, I know Christmas is coming up. So uh, keep pounding out, you know, that the, the business. Okay. Don't, don't just take a week off. You know, Christmas is only one day. You could probably take Christmas Eve off and really just keep moving your business forward. Because if you do these things in the next couple of weeks and just keep moving forward, your 2018 is going to blow up. So I appreciate you guys. Have a fabulous week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.